Hi there, welcome to my channel Neuland Yoga. I'm Katja and this is a brief practice that focuses mainly on the hips, legs and feet. And it's a very brief practice just to find a connection to yourself and to your breath. All you need is a quite warm space and maybe a blanket to sit on. So grab everything you need and I'm looking forward to seeing you on your mat. Please come into a comfortable cross-legged position and I recommend to use your blanket to sit a little bit higher, to bring it underneath your hips, underneath your seat. So fold your blanket, place it underneath your bottom, underneath your seat. And then cross your ankles, cross your shins and walk your feet out a little bit. So see if you can let your knees rest on top of your ankles or your feet. Let your hands rest on your knees or the thighs. You can turn the palms up or you can turn them down. Try to make your shoulders heavy and relax them. So let them fall down away from your ears. And then if you like, close your eyes here for a moment. You can also find a focal point on the floor if closing your eyes doesn't work for you. Use the first few moments here to connect to yourself. Notice how your body is feeling, how your breath is feeling, how you are feeling. Without trying to change anything, without judging anything, just observe yourself. And then see if you can let go of your body, that physical shape for a moment. And if you can focus more on your breath. Feel how your inhale is flowing into your body and how your exhale is leaving your body. Follow your breath with your awareness for a couple of rounds. Finish one more exhale here and allow yourself to let everything go that you don't need for your practice, everything that can wait. With your inhale, blink your eyes open if they are closed. Make sure that you still sit nice and tall. So lift the chest, relax your shoulders. And then from there, grab your right knee with your right hand and your right foot with your left hand. Flex the ankle slightly. You can bring the shin, the leg up a little bit higher or you can keep it nice and low. Rock a few times, gently side to side. So bring your knee out and bring your knee in. So try to find a nice big movement there. Come back to stillness. Place your right heel onto the mat with your foot flexed. Grab underneath your right thigh, interlace your fingers there. Pull a little bit, lift the chest. With your next inhale, start to lift the right foot, stretch it up. Maybe the leg becomes straight, maybe not. Exhale, bring the heel back onto the mat. Inhale, breathing, lift and straighten. And exhale, lower. Just keep going with your own breath, with your own pace.
Let's do two more. And after the second one, keep the foot lifted. The leg can be straight or you can keep it bent. Circle your ankle around. And switch direction. Point and flex. And release. Place the back of your heel onto your mat. Take your hands and place them on either side of your knee and press gently against the knee to stabilize it. Now, without moving the knee around, move the foot around. Bring the inner edge of the foot down towards the floor. And then from there, the outer edge. So imagine you are wiping the floor with your foot. Try to keep it nice and closely to the floor and go side to side. And you probably can feel a little bit of movement within your knee. That's okay. But still try to keep it in that position with the help of your hands. Come back to stillness. And then from there, stretch your right leg out to the right. Flex your ankle so the toes face the ceiling. If your left knee is talking to you now, it feels uncomfortable, you can stretch the left leg out as well. Or take the blanket or a second blanket underneath your left knee as support. With your right foot flex, place your right hand somewhere comfortably onto the leg. It can be your thigh, your knee or your shin. Bring your left arm up towards the ceiling. Now reach the fingertips, try to reach the ceiling, stretch, take an inhale here. With your exhale, gently lean over to your right leg. With your inhale, come up, take your arm with you, bring it down, and exhale, sway over to the right. So go up and down a few times and connect your breath and your movement. So with your inhale, lift, and with your exhale, sway towards the side. Good. A few more. The next time stay there, so stay in that gentle side bend. Let your right arm rest, let the right shoulder rest. Bring your left arm slightly, your upper arm slightly in front of you and then start to circle your arm around. You can bend your elbow as much as you need to. You can choose the heights, you don't have to lift high, you can also keep it a little bit lower. Just explore the range of motion you have there within your left shoulder. And switch direction. Do one more and then keep your arm lifted. Turn the palm forward and see if you can bring the upper chest and shoulder back a little bit more open there. If it feels nice for your left shoulder, you can also start to let the left arm sink down, but try to keep it in line with your shoulder. Good, couple of nice, slow, deep breaths here into the belly, into the chest, even into the left hand fingertips. Keep everything as it is, but lower your left arm about shoulder height and then roll the shoulder back and down so the palm faces up now. Spread your fingers and reach the fingertips. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder until you can feel a nice, gentle stretch for the left side of your neck. And hold and breathe. Imagine with each inhale you can create more space. You can reach all those tight spots, all that spots that are holding and gripping. With your exhale, try to soften your left shoulder so let it sink down away from the ear. Finish one more exhale there. With your inhale, reach the left hand and slowly bring your chest up. Keep your head heavy for a moment. Relax your left arm. And then from there, lift your head until the chin is about parallel to the floor. Take your right hand over to your left knee or leg or whatever you can reach there. Place your left hand in line with your left hip onto the mat. Come onto the fingertips. 
Now push into the left hand, lift your chest, your belly, the crown of your head. With your exhale, gently turn, twist towards your left side. Spin your navel, spin your chest over to the left instead of turning your head. So try to keep your head relatively still and stable, but try to move your upper body more towards the left. Use your left hand on the floor as support for your spine. Keep pushing against the floor. Keep lifting. And take one more inhale there. And with your exhale, come back to center. Bring chest and belly forward. Bring your right leg back into that cross-legged position. And take a moment there to feel both sides, to feel both hips. So maybe it feels a little bit different. Now you can also close your eyes for a few breaths if you like. Open your eyes again and let's switch sides. So take the left foot into your right hand, the left knee into your left hand. Lift a little higher or keep it low, flex the left ankle and rock a few times gently side to side. It's called rocking the baby, so probably get a picture, you get an idea, just go side to side. Good. Come back to center, back to stillness. Place the back of your heel onto the mat. Grab underneath the back of your thigh, maybe interlace your fingers if you can. Lift the chest, sit tall. With your next inhale, stretch the left leg up towards the ceiling, straighten it more or less, and then exhale, bring the back of your heel down again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do three more. Go with your own breath. Connect breath and movement again, movement and breath. Last one, keep it lifted, maybe lower a little bit more and circle your ankle around, your foot around. Switch direction and point and flex. Place the back of your heel back onto the mat. Keep the toes lifted so the ankle is flexed. Take your hands against your knee to stabilize it. And then start turning or moving the left foot from side to side. So imagine again, you're wiping the floor, going up and down with the inner edge of the foot and the outer edge of the foot. Good, come back to center, pause. And then stretch the left leg out to the left. Flex the ankle so the foot is active the whole time. Maybe support your right knee or stretch the leg out. Let your left hand comfortably rest on your left leg. Inhale, stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Drop the shoulder but create space by reaching through the fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale, sway gently over to your left side. Inhale up, take your arm with you. And exhale, sway. Find your breath, find your movement, go up and down, side to side. Next time, stay in your side bend. Let your left arm comfortably rest. Take your right upper arm slightly in front of you and move it around, big circle or small circle. Bend your elbow more if you need to. And then switch direction. The next time, keep your arm lifted, turn the palm forward, drop your left ear to your left shoulder and try to bring upper chest and shoulder back a little bit more and maybe Lower your right arm even more to get that nice opening for the right side chest and shoulder. From there, keep everything as it is again. Lower your right arm. Turn the palm up towards the ceiling by rolling the shoulder back and down. Make your left ear even heavier. Let it sink down. Stretch the right hand fingertips so find that sweet opening, that nice stretching sensation for the right side of your neck. 
And then take a couple of nice deep inhales again to create more space, more freedom. And with your exhale, let go of tension, or I should say unnecessarily tension. Couple of nice, slow, deep breaths here. Hold and breathe. With your next inhale, reach the right hand and slowly lift your chest. Keep your head heavy. Up there, relax your right arm and shoulder. And then bring your head up. Sit tall. Pause. Take your left hand over to your right knee or leg. Place your right hand fingertips on the floor in line with your right hip. Inhale, push against the floor, lengthen by stretching the crown of your head up. Exhale, draw the belly gently in and spin your navel over to the right. Take the chest with you, but avoid looking over your right shoulder. So keep the head stable, keep it still, but try to move as much of your chest and belly as you can into the twist. With each inhale, lengthen. With each exhale, draw the belly gently in. Maybe if you have space left, twist a little bit further. Last inhale here. Exhale, breathing, come back to center. Bend your left knee, come back into your cross-legged position. Let your hands rest on your knees or thighs, sit tall, maybe close your eyes. Feel your hips, feel your legs, feel your feet. And maybe you can still remember how you felt in the beginning of our brief practice here. Maybe something has changed. Maybe something has shifted within your body. And maybe you can feel that. So take a little extra time here as you did in the beginning of class to notice how your body is feeling, your breath, and how are you feeling? Whenever you're ready to blink your eyes open or to head back into your day, open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And I'm looking forward to practicing with you soon again. Namaste.